Hey guys, hey, so I'm just jumping on to give an encouraging word this morning. Um, so let's open up in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this encouraging word and I pray that your people take heed to it and it ministers to their spirit. It's in your name I pray, amen. So as I was working out this morning, I heard the Father say, don't allow their insecurities to ruin your life. And the real reason why he gave me this word is because there's some building that is getting ready to take place in my life. And when you are building, there are going to be some people who are going to be around you who are not going to like the fact that you're building. They're going to say some things. They're going to do some things. They even may try to sabotage what you're building, what this is what God has um, pretty much anointed you and ordained you to do. The enemy is not going to like that. So he's going to use those around you to stop you from building, you know, using their open door, which is their insecurities. You know, Our insecurities is an open door for the enemy to just step in and, you know, to walk in and to use us because we have an open door. And that open door of insecurity is what he will use of those around you to try to stop you from doing what God has called you to do. And so this immediately made me think about Nehemiah because Nehemiah, if you're not familiar with the story, I ask that you read it, actually read Nehemiah chapters one through six. And you'll see that as he got placed it on his heart to build, to rebuild the walls around Jerusalem and he was dealing with some adversaries, baby who tried to come and sabotage it as much as they possibly could. They sent letters, they tried everything possible to stop this wall being rebuilt, even though God called him to do it but of course they didn't win because this was something ordained by God so this is just an encouraging word to not allow the insecurities of others to ruin your life and so when we look at the word insecurity insecurity means uncertainty or anxiety about oneself lack of uh, confidence and the synonyms are self-doubt instability and unreliability when we look at the word ruin, to cause great and unusual irreparable damage or harm to or to have a disastrous effect on. So as you are getting ready to step into your season or because you, you're already either in it or you're getting ready to walk into it, of God getting ready to do great things through you, where you're getting ready to start building, whether you're getting ready to start building your brand, whether you're getting ready to start your podcast, whether God has blessed you and granted you with some land and you're getting ready to start building on this land, whether you're getting ready to build your marriage you're getting ready to have a family you're getting ready to build you're getting ready to build your ministry you know whatever it is that god has uh, ordained for you to do and these blessings and the promises of him you're getting ready to build something and when that happens is you're going to deal with some adversaries you're going to deal with people who are around you who lack confidence within themselves you're going to be dealing with people who have self-doubt who have all of these other issues that they're dealing with within themselves that they're now going to project that on you because of the great thing that you're getting ready to do you know because of the fact that it also has a lot to do too because you decided to be obedient to god you know i think people need to understand and realize too that God doesn't show any partiality for any, like he doesn't, it's in his word. He doesn't show any partiality, but he still requires us to put in the work. And so because you decided to put in the work, you decided to pick up your cross and follow him. You decided to stop being lukewarm. You know, you really truly decide to give your life over to him and submit and yield. There are going to be some people around you who are not going to like that because they didn't make that decision to do that. See, there are blessings there. You know, there are things that come with when you submit and yield to God, when you submit and yield to his will and his way, there are blessings that come with it. The blessings of obedience, Deuteronomy 28, there are blessings that come with obedience. So because they choose not to, they're going to come and attack you because you decided to. And so how we deal with that is as you're building, as you're doing what God has called you to do, you're going to ignore and don't come into agreement with them. Don't feed their insecurities. Don't it at all you, you have to learn how to not do that i know it's like you like man i want to say something so bad and i'm there with you don't feed their insecurities and when we look at nehemiah six and three nehemiah six and three from the kjv says and i sent messenger messengers unto them saying this is nehemiah saying to his uh, adversaries i'm doing a great work so that i cannot come down why should the work seek cease I leave it and come down to you. Why should I stop building and entertain you? Why should I stop building my family? Why should I stop building my brand? Why should I sit here and entertain your foolishness? Why should I sit here and entertain your lack of confidence? I'm building, I'm doing a great work. I don't have time for this. So you have to learn how to ignore them. But also when they do speak things, 
against what you're doing, do not come in agreement with it. Do not sit there and listen to it because when you sit there and listen to it, meaning by you're coming into agreement with it, you rebuke and bind it in the name of Jesus. Don't you dare come into agreement with it because they'll say things like, this is going to fail. This is not going to work out for you. Don't you dare sit there and just listen and be like, oh, okay, absolutely not. You rebuke and bind it in the name of Jesus. Don't come into agreement with the words that they're going to be speaking to sabotage. Because remember, our words have power. So don't sit there and come into agreement with it. You ignore it, absolutely. But don't come into agreement with it. And lastly, pray and encourage yourself in the Lord. Nehemiah uh, chapter 4, verses 4 and 5 say, Hear our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head. This is Nehemiah praying about the adversaries. And give them for a prey in the land of captivity, and cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out before thee, for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. Pray against it. And then verses 14 through 15, this is what happened after he prayed. He said, And I looked and I rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be ye not afraid. This is the encouragement. Be ye not afraid. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that we were that this was known unto us, and God had brought their counsel to nothing, that we returned all of us to the wall everyone into his work so pray and encourage yourself in the lord do not allow their insecurities to stop you from building ignore them remember to rebuke and bind what they're saying i pray that this word blesses you i pray that um this really truly encourages you and know that don't allow their insecurities to ruin your life don't allow what they're doing and what they're saying stop you from doing the great work that god has ordained you to do but don't let their lack of confidence, don't allow their self-doubt, don't allow their unreliability to stop you from doing the great work you were called to do. I pray this encourages you. Be blessed.